Hi guys, Annette here. I have a Dollar Tree um, preparation items video for you. Um, I'm going to show you all um, items that you can get at the Dollar Tree that you can put back and have for emergency preparedness. Um, it's a great thing to be prepared in case of a natural disaster, any kind of emergency, and um, severe weather. You know, the winter is coming up, storms are coming up. It's very windy outside right now here. Um, but a lot of places get a lot of snow, they get ice storms, and um, it is a good idea to have some things put back just in case of an emergency. So I'm going to go through some of the things that you can get at the Dollar Tree that are a very good value. Um, there's a lot of things that you can get at other places that are a better value, but um, there are a few things at Dollar Tree that are quite a good value and are worth picking up if you're there. So I'm going to start with the food. The first thing I'm going to show you is Gosner Shelf Stable Milk. It is uh, UHT milk, which uh, means it's ultra high temp. It's pasteurized at a very high temperature, which makes it shelf stable. It comes in these one quart cartons. They are a dollar because it's the Dollar Tree. Um, they have whole milk, um, 2% and 1% usually at my Dollar Tree. You can order these by the case online and have them shipped to the store for free. Uh, and a case is 12. So um, if you bought a case of 12, that would give you three gallons of milk. So a little bit more expensive than just buying a gallon of milk at the grocery store. But these can sit on your pantry shelf, which makes them very convenient. They do have to be refrigerated after you open them. But especially if you're a family, um, you should be able to use a whole quart in one sitting. A family of four um, would use a whole quart in one sitting. So um, this is a great size to keep on hand. It's enough for multiple people, but not so much that it should go to waste. Um, the date on the top on this one is pretty close because it's the one I had up in my pantry, but the ones at the Dollar Tree yesterday were September 2017. So about 10 months out. And then if you go to Gosner's website, they guarantee their milk will last a year after the date on the top. So you have another year past that that you can use these. Um, I've opened ones uh, quite a ways past the date and they've always been fine for me. So I think these are a great value. I think they're a great thing to have on hand, um, especially if you have little ones. Uh, they're supposed to be drinking whole milk and it's a good source of protein and calories um, and vitamins for a little one and grown-ups too. So if you see these at your Dollar Tree, I encourage you to pick up a few to have in the pantry. Um, even if you live in an area that like snows a lot, this is great to have on hand because if you get snowed in for a few days and you can't get out to the store to get um, a gallon or two of milk, you will have milk on hand um, in your pantry. The flavor is a little bit different than um, fresh milk from the store. It has more of like almost like a cooked taste to it, like a scalded milk taste. Um, I don't mind it, especially if it's cold. Um, I do think the flavor is better than powdered milk. Um, and in a recipe, you can't tell the difference at all. So if you want to make like um, chipped chipped beef on toast or sausage gravy or anything like that, um, like for biscuits and gravy, this is a great thing to have on hand. And um, if you home can and you home can your own sausage, you can have biscuits and gravy in the pantry because you'll have sausage, you'll have milk, and you should have flour and um, some kind of oil or lard to make biscuits. So um, that's that. Then back here, there is um, a two pound bag of long grain uh, brown rice, a two pound bag of long grain white rice, both really good values. Uh, 50 cents a pound is a great price for rice. Usually you can only get it at that price in a big bulk bag. And if you didn't want to have that much on hand at one time, like a 25 pound bag or so, um, this is a really good alternative. Get a few pounds of, or a few bags of this and you'll have, you know, four, six, eight pounds of rice put up in the cupboard. Um, they also have a lot of different varieties of beans. The pinto beans, I believe, are the best value there. This is a two pound bag. The sizes of the bags vary and change, so you have to keep an eye on that. Um, right now, the pinto beans, when I was there last, were 1.75 pound bags, so a little bit smaller than this one here. Um, and then they had one pound bags of black beans, great northern beans, and 
kidney beans, I believe, which a dollar a pound is really not a bad price um, for beans unless you're buying them in a bigger bulk size. Usually even at stores like Walmart, they're more than a dollar a pound. So a dollar or less a pound for beans is a really great price. Um, and you cook both of these and you have a meal. So um, rice and beans is a pretty common meal that most people eat in other countries. Um, even in the United States, a lot of people eat it. A lot of times they have cornbread or something with it too. Um, Dollar Tree also has a lot of seasonings, which I don't have any sitting here, but I do usually buy my dried minced onions from there because it's a rather big container for only a dollar. But um, just make sure you have some dried seasonings on hand too to make these things taste good. And uh, you can have a meal of rice and beans. And if you have cornmeal, make some cornbread. And it's really filling and has a good amount of calories. And beans have a lot of protein. So um, a pretty good meal, especially if you use the brown rice back there. It does have a lower shelf life. Um, so if you want to keep it for a very long time, go ahead and pick up white rice. But um, brown rice, I've had last for a good two years in the pantry without going rancid. So um, conservatively, I think they say like six months for brown rice, but I've had brown rice much longer than that. And it's been fine. It's never been rancid. Um, I don't live in a super warm climate though. I mean, our summers get a little bit warm and we don't have air conditioning, but the pantry stays pretty cool. So um, it probably depends on how warm it gets in your house as well. Then there is a can of uh, dark chunk chicken here. It is a 10 ounce can. Um, a dollar for a 10 ounce can is a great price. They usually only have five ounce cans there, but they've been having this Kreider brand dark chicken and they've had white chicken. Uh, when I went yesterday, they only had the dark chicken and I wanted to pick up a can so you guys could see what it looked like. Um, I usually can my own chicken, so I don't need to buy this anymore, but since it was a dollar, I just picked it up so I could show you guys um, what it looked like. And so you would be, know what to look for in the Dollar Tree. Um, like I said, 10 ounces is a great price. These, the 10 ounce cans at Walmart are about two twenty seven, dollars So a dollar is more than half off the Walmart price. And this Kreider brand does say product of the USA right there, which, um, I appreciate. Sorry, it does not want to focus. <laughs> um, so I went ahead and picked up just one can so I could show you guys what it looked like and show you that it said product of the USA. Um, if I did not can my own chicken, I would be picking up more of these. So if you don't home can um, and you eat will eat canned chicken, um, I think it tastes good in salads and casseroles and stuff like that. Um, I used to buy canned chicken before I learned how to can myself, but... Um, if you don't can and you want to have some emergency meat on hand that you don't doesn't require any refrigeration or freezer space, um, pick up some of this Kreider, either the white or the dark chicken, depending on what they have in your Dollar Tree. And I don't know how long these are going to be there for because you can't order them off their website. So I think they're more of a newer slash maybe they got them on a really good deal specialty item type thing. So um, pick them up while you can because I don't know if they will be there again. Um, I think that's all for the food. The Dollar Tree does have some other food items. Um... I, the prices on them are just okay. They usually have oats and they have um, noodles and pasta sauce and vegetables and they have all kinds of stuff. But um, I think that these products right here are the best value. I think that um, some of the other products you can find cheaper at other stores, but I wanted to show you the ones that I think are the best value and the ones that I would pick up from there. Um, so the other things that you can get at Dollar Tree are like medical supplies or first aid type supplies. Um, I just have a few sitting here that I know for sure came from Dollar Tree. Um, I did pick up these fabric bandages just the other day, um, to have some band-aids on hand. I prefer the fabric ones. I think that they stay on better. Um, and they mostly have this Assured brand. Uh, everything that I've gotten from there works fairly well, so... Um, 30 bandages for a dollar I don't think is a bad price so I picked these up to just to have on hand then they have these Curade which is a name brand they have in other stores extra large plastic ones there's only 10 in there but they're very big bandages for 
Um, so 10 of those for a dollar I don't think is a bad price. And then here is the Assured Hydrogen Peroxide. Um, I think it's a good value for the hydrogen peroxide. It's a one quart container. They do have rubbing alcohol there as well, but it's only 50%. And um, for disinfecting, um, I like a higher percentage than 50%, but um, if it's what you can afford, um, it's still a very good product to have on hand. Um, you can use it as an antiseptic, antiseptic and a household cleaner. So rubbing alcohol is a good one to have on hand. So I think that's all the medical type supplies I have out. They also have some hygiene supplies there, which are a good value. Um, I got this little, um, it has crust, a little travel crust kids toothpaste and a little toothbrush with it. Um, I got this, I do, um, my church does the Operation Christmas Child's shoe boxes. Um, and so I'm going to do a little boy this year. I may do two, but I'm for sure I did a girl last year, so I'm going to probably do a little boy this year, but I picked this up for, uh, the shoe box, but it's also a great supply to have on hand, extra toothbrush and toothpaste. It's always good to have extra hygiene supplies on hand. Um, so, you know, a toothbrush and a little thing of toothpaste for a dollar. I do not think it's a bad price at all. If you're a person who does a bug out bag too, this would be a great item to put in your bug out bag. Also, a thing you could put in your kids' bug out bags if they have one are these magic towels. They're little face cloths that are just like squished basically into a tiny little square. And then when you get them wet, they expand into a um, regular washcloth. This one is the Avengers. I bought it for the little Operation Christmas Child. Um, box, but you could also get them for your own kids. And uh, in another video, I'm going to go over some Dollar Tree stocking stuffers, and this will actually be in that video too, because I think these make great little stocking stuffers for kids. Just fun little items to have in your stocking. Um, and I think that's the most important thing. I think stockings are just fun, and um, I don't think that they should be a whole bunch of money. So um, putting something like this in your kid's stocking, I think is a great idea. So this could be for a bug out bag. Um, as well because it's nice and small and a washcloth is a good thing to keep on hand. Hygiene is important. Uh, another hygiene item I got was these palm olive soaps. Um, these are normally I think a two pack but they were a three pack. It says free bar on there. A um, dollar for three bars of soap I think is a good value. 33 cents each for soap I think is great. Um, I'm going to put one of these in my Operation Christmas Child box and then probably keep the other ones. Um, this palm olive is a pretty basic soap. If you read the ingredients, it's like tallow and palm oil and coconut oil um, that they've used to make into the soap and some fragrance, which is pretty normal for soap. So um, it's not organic or necessarily all natural soap, but it is um, a very good value for soap. Um, let's see, I think I'll go into some household items that you can get at Dollar Tree, which are a good value. Um, batteries, it's always a good idea to have batteries on hand. This was a bonus pack, so there were six in here instead of four. Um, the Panasonic batteries are pretty good. Um, they're, they're, um, maybe not quite as good as like Duracell, but they're up there. Um, they're not like the Sunbeam cheap ones that they have there. So these are pretty decent batteries. Um, especially if you're going to use them in like an LED flashlight or something, um, they should last quite a while. So a dollar for six, uh, double A batteries, I think is a really good deal. So I got those. Um, another thing I quite often get at the Dollar Tree are the diamond matches. I think you can get these at Walmart. They may be slightly cheaper or around the same price, um, but I always notice them at the Dollar Tree, so I usually grab a box when I'm there. Um, I mostly use these just to light my candles in my house, but matches are a great thing to have either to light emergency candles or fires or whatever. Uh, you may need some matches, so... Um, another thing that I don't have pictured because I have them put up is every once in a while I buy a couple of those white Catholic candles. Um, they're pretty long burning and they do not have a fragrance to them. 
um, which is important when you're burning an emergency candle for light. You don't want them all to be fragrant and get a headache from that. So um, every once in a while, I pick up a few of those white Catholic candles from the Dollar Tree. Another great thing at the Dollar Tree um, is the reading glasses. They are cute, which is why I like them. Um, they are just plastic lenses, but they work very well. Um, if you're anybody who needs reading glasses, I recommend getting them. Um, and they're also so cheap, you can put up a few pairs and have them in case of an emergency. Um, it is important that you be able to see and read instructions on things if you need to. Um, and to see things up close, I need these. So... I like to make sure I have a few extra pairs on hand. Um, and then I work at a hospital, so if they fall off or fall into something icky or whatever, I don't feel bad. They can go in the garbage um, and I can get a new pair because they were only a dollar. Um, some household items that I like to get besides the batteries and the matches are um, reusable gloves, like kitchen gloves. Um, you know, in an emergency situation, if you have to clean up something icky um, and you want to make sure everything stays like kind of clean and sterile, um, you don't want your hands and fingernails to get into anything icky, um, you can get a pair of these reusable gloves. They have lots of different brands and sizes there. Um, I took these out of the box in the store just to check them out. I thought that they were really thick and a good value. So for a dollar, I think that these are a great value. Um, also, I got some Brillo brand um, stainless steel scrubbers, so steel wool. These are good to have on hand to clean your cast iron pans with. And then also, um, I believe that they're good to keep out mice. I guess mice won't chew through the steel wool. So a lot of people plug up holes and stuff um, that they think mice might be coming through with the steel wool because I guess they won't chew on um, the steel wool. So they have multi, multi, multiple different purposes. Um, I mostly get them though to scrub uh, my steel or my cast iron pans and that's, <laughs> that's what they show right there. Um, or your clean your grill. Uh, if it's an emergency situation, you might need to be cooking outside, so you'll want to be able to keep your cast iron and your grill clean. Um, and then, I think it's the last thing I'm going to show you. I actually got it for my Operation Christmas Child box as well, um, is this little hat. It's a knit hat, and it has a fleece liner. It's actually pretty thick. I thought it was good quality. It's pretty stretchy. Um, it does fit on my head. I don't have, like, a very big head, though. I think they're supposed to be for kids, but um, it did stretch onto my head. I just wanted to try it on and see if it would. But these are great for um, having in case of an emergency. If the power goes out and it's cold, you are going to want to be able to keep warm. Um, also in a bug out bag, you lose a lot of your heat through your head, so it is important to keep your head warm. Um, so that is a good value, a dollar for a knit fleece lined hat, I think is a very good price. And then another thing to keep warm, where did I put it? It's hidden around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Are these hot hands. They are hand warmers. They are a pack of two. Um, they are air activated. You just take them out of the package, I believe, and they start to warm up once the air hits them. Um, they're supposed to stay warm for up to 10 hours. These would be great to put in pockets of a coat to keep warm or in the bottom of a sleeping bag to keep warm. Um, they do have toe warmers too. I think they're supposed to go in your shoes, but um, they only come as a one pack. And I think that the hot hands are a better value. So I usually get those. I mean, you could put those in your shoes too if you wanted to. So, um, or in like, you know, down the side of your boots or whatever to keep your feet warm. Um, but in an emergency situation where the power may be out, I think those would also be a great way to keep your family warm for a couple of nights um, until the power comes back on if it's a short-term situation. So um, that is my little Dollar Tree prep haul. Um, it's a giant mess on the couch right now, but um, I just wanted to show you the items that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. Um, they do definitely have some other ones. They definitely have a lot more um, medical type supplies, which are all a pretty good value. Um, 
especially like uh, ibuprofen and Tylenol. They're not name brands, but they are um, pretty good value. Um, they have antibiotic ointment and things like that. So um, just when you're in the Dollar Tree, look around and see what you can get for your emergency supply kit. And um, I just hope you guys all have a very safe winter. If you have any favorite preps from the Dollar Tree, please comment them below. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. And I hope you guys have a great week. And until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.